Welcome to this video where I'm going to work through an example of how you can get the sky coordinates of an unknown object that you've taken a picture of. And that will be known as astrometry. And we're going to work through that and show you how you can actually get your coordinates of that object in right ascension and declination. So, what is astrometry? Well, astrometry is the precise precisional measurement of an object or an astronomical object. And here you've got the full sky of basically stars with exoplanets really, but it could be anything. And they all need to have a sky coordinate. So right ascension or declination or both, I should say. And if you make a new discovery, so a new star has been discovered, um, an asteroid, any new astronomical object needs to have a precise um, position in the sky and a coordinate associated with it. Which is very important to actually find what this is. So how do we actually do that? Well, the first thing is we need to actually reduce the data or our image in the same manner that we would do photometry really. So photometry is when you're measuring kind of the intensity of light of an object, where you look at the magnitude of a star or something like that. Astrometry, we're looking at the position more so than how bright it actually is, but it's the same sort of process to get there. So you need a good signal to noise ratio of the object. You don't want it overexposed and you don't want it so faint that you've got a very poor signal and you can't really pick it out of your image. So it needs to be a good signal to noise ratio. You also need to acquire your data reduction images along with your actual science image. So that means things like your bias frame, your flat frame, dark frames, those sort of things. And they help you calibrate your equipment and remove any defects out or any variations due to things like pixel pixel variation. And then you just need to perform the data reduction. So an example here is given below and on the left hand side, you've got an image of an edge on galaxy. That's the raw image. That's how it came off a telescope without any processing. And then you would process that to clean it up, take any artifacts out, compensate for the sensitivity of the, the pixels and things like that. And then you get the image on the right there, which obviously looks a lot better. So you'd still do exactly the same thing as you would do if you were taking any other sort of astronomical image. So you might want to take multiple science images. So if you're taking something like a asteroid, it's going to be moving across the frame. So you might want to actually get its movement. You might be tracking its movement and any object really might be moving. So even stars do move as well. But also you need to pick out various different standard stars or reference stars. So these are stars where you have a very precise coordinate for them. So they are very well studied and understood. They have a very precise coordinate associated with them. And you use those as like a reference point to then find out the coordinate of your object. And the more of those stars you have, the better. And they should really be reasonably close to your object in the same field. You can have them scattered around. The idea being the more you have, the better, the more accurate your coordinates going to be for your unknown object. So how do you actually find your standard stars or how do you identify them? Well, you can use something like Aladdin Sky Atlas. So this is a, a virtual observatory. You can use it on the browser. You can download it onto your computer. And if you use the light version, which I have done here in the yellow box, it will open up an image of the sky. You can zoom in, zoom out, but you can pick different telescopes or surveys. Done. and that's on the left hand side you can see surveys and a lot of those are in different wavelengths so you can see an x-ray visible light infrared and you get some very interesting images there and they're all taken by proper telescopes and it's very good for comparing to your own image as well but if you want to have a go at that yourself the link is just at the bottom there and you can, again it's free to use and you can just use it on your browser if you want and it's a good way to help you identify known stars and overlay the catalog on, to, on top so let's say we've gone into that now. This is what you might see. And if you look at the right hand side, which is highlighted by um, the yellow, you've got catalogues. And these are different catalogues that overlay onto the actual image itself. And then what you can do is you can click on the actual object itself and it will then bring up a lot of information about that object. So what you would want to do is probably click those catalogues, depending on which one you want to have a look at, because they're all looking at slightly different things as well. So not all objects are going to be in a catalog. And you can see there's a few different sorts here. Not every object has got every catalog. So let's say we've done that. We then clicked on a star and we want the actual coordinates of that object. 
And again, highlighted by the green box here is your right ascension and declination. And that is giving us our essentially our sky coordinate of that object. And if we've got the right frame compared to our image, we can identify some clearly visible stars that are in our frame and here we can get their coordinates for them. And just an example here. So let's say we've got our target object. This is our unknown object with the star. We can pick out some of those stars nearby as our reference stars or standard stars. We would then get their coordinates of that from Aladdin Sky Atlas. But then we actually need to calibrate to a different coordinate system or calibrate our image to the RA deck coordinate system. So in our image, it's in X, Y. So the position of the object in the image is just going to have an X and a Y position, but we actually need to convert that or calibrate it to the celestial sphere coordinate system. So how are we actually going to do that? Well, there are some good online calculators that you can use. This is an example of one, the links at the top. But if you go onto that, then a quote from that particular website is given here. So this calculator computes the sky coordinates, the RA deck, of an object in your image. So again, it could be an asteroid. Given the known coordinates of a set of stars, that's your reference stars, in the image. So if you, if you supply the RA deck of a set of stars in your image, the XY pixel coordinates of those stars in your actual image, and then the XY pixel coordinate of the unknown object or the object you want to actually find the coordinates for, it will then calculate the RA deck of your actual unknown object. And on the um, right hand side at the bottom is a kind of screenshot of what that calculator might look like. And we'll go look at that in a bit more detail right at the end when we put the example information in that. So the transformation equations are given here if you're interested in them. And you've got U and V, which relate to your sky coordinates, so your RA deck basically. Your X and Y are going to be your pixel coordinates in your image. And then your A, B, C, D or your plate constants, which are determined from the standard stars you've actually entered. And they're called plate constants because historically, astronomical um, images were taken using plates. That's not the case anymore, but they're still called plate constants nonetheless. So if we have a quick work through an example here, so I've got an image. We've got four standard stars or reference stars in the images that I've just pulled out. And then I've just highlighted an object which I'd want to find the coordinates of here, highlighted by the green. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at that, put them into the calculator, and then find the RA declination of that particular object. So first thing we need is the actual center of the image itself. Now, if you've taken the image yourself, you've likely pointed your telescope to some coordinate, which will be the center of your image, provided it's actually accurate and pointing correctly. Or if you don't know that, you can find that by, again, using the Aladdin Sky Atlas and just getting the same sort of image on there as what you've got in your image and you can then identify the center point of your image but it's important to know what the center of your image is so that's given there in coordinates we then got standard star one we have the ra and deck of that and then the x y position on the actual image so that's the pixel coordinate in the image and then the actual sky coordinate of the star as well same again for standard star 2, you're going to have both the sky coordinate and the xy coordinates. Star 3, same again, just a bit further over on the image. And then you also have star 4 here. So we've got the four standard stars there, we've got all the information that we need. We found that from Aladdin Sky Atlas and we've also found it from our image itself. Now how do we actually get the xy position? of the object, or so of the standard star and our unknown object. Well, you can use some image processing software, it doesn't really matter what it is, but if you open up your image and then you hover the cursor over the star that you want, it will tell you the pixel position. So at the bottom here, this I think this is on paint, we've got a pixel position of 119 and 72. So the X position is 119 and the Y position is 72. And that's quite straightforward to find. You need the actual center point of the star to get that. And again, you can use pretty much any image processing software to really get that. So we've got all of that. We just need to get the XY position of our unknown object. 
So here I've just highlighted that, do the same thing. That's the only thing we know about it. We want to get the actual coordinate of that. So we've got all the information that we need now. And what we're going to do, if we go to that calculator, the first thing we need at the very top is the center of the image in RA deck. And look at the actual, um, the way that it's written, the format. It gives you an idea of how to write it as well. So O2 would be two hours and then 57 would be 57 minutes. And then on the left, a little bit further down, you've got the RA deck of your standard stars. So we've got four standard stars there and we've put the RA deck of each one of those. We then put the corresponding X, Y position of your stars in the image. That's what we found. So we've got the RA deck and the X, Y of each standard star. We've then also put the X, Y pixel coordinates of the object that we want to find the coordinates for. So this is our unknown object, it could be our asteroid, it could be a, a new star or a new object. Put the XY position in there and then click calculate. It will tell you the resulting plate constants underneath that. And it will also at the very bottom give you your RA deck of your unknown object. So we've got an actual position of our object now using this calculator. So it's fairly straightforward to do. And you can have a go at doing this yourself, provided you can get all of that information there. You can then get your coordinate of your object. So thank you for watching and if you enjoy then check out some of the other videos.